Hi everyone, today we will learn how to integrate LDAP server with Palo Alto. So the Palo Alto management IP is 192.168.119.108 and LDAP server IP will be 119.93 and the same server, same LDAP server will act as a DNS as well as NTP server and the domain name will be mylab.local in our environment so let's start the configuration first we'll configure tns 192.168.119.93 next will be ntp 192.168.19.93 click on ok next we'll be configuring ldap profile so I will name it as a LDAP profile and the server will be AD1. Now the LDAP server IP is 192.168.19.93 and the port will be default 389. In our case, I will remove this tick because we, we will not be using SSL TLS secured connection. We will be using type active directory. I will commit these changes. After that, I will continue the remaining configuration. Now I will use uh, base DN will be my lab dot local and bind DN will be administrator at the rate my lab dot local local where administrator is the username and I will assign a password I will click OK. So now our next step will be we will be configuring uh, user identification. So we will go to user mapping. Here we will add uh, my lab dot local slash administrator. And domain DNS name will be my lab dot local I will assign here password click OK next will be server monitoring profile configuration And transport protocol will be WMI network address will be our LDAP next will be include or exclude I will include all the IP once we commit the status should be connected if the configuration is correct so let's commit
now the commit is almost completed so now the connection uh, should be status should be connected okay it's connected so our configuration is fine the next step is group mapping configuration i will name it as a group mapping i will assign ldap profile and in the included domain li list i have the users in ou mumbai ou take and uh, user group take underscore user i will add uh, to the include list i will click ok and the next step will be will be enabling uh, the user identification on the zone on which there will be LDAP domain user. Now commit the configuration. Once uh, the commit is successful, we will be uh, uh, able to view the user users in the LDAP in the policy section. Now the commit is successful. Now create the policy with a user from the LDAP. So test policy. Source zone will be inside. Source user uh, my lab mm -hmm. slash tick underscore user is the group name. If I want to assign a particular user, then I can assign. This is the user take that user one is the user in the LDAP server destination. I will assign it as a outside action will be allow. Click on OK. Similarly, we can create a number of policies on the basis of user. Next thing we will we can use LDAP server as a authentication. So uh, I will be configuring here authentication profile and I will name authentication profile as a auth profile and the type will be LDAP sub profile will be LDAP profile advanced section I can add the group or all the users so in this a scenario I will be uh, selecting all click on OK click on commit so once the commit is successful uh, we can authenticate the user from the LDAP server Now the commit is completed. Now authenticate the user uh, from the LDAP server. So the user is successfully authenticated from the LDAP. Thanks for watching the video.